get some little micro uh, yeah. abrasions. Just got dropped back off at Blue Ridge Gap and it's time to head north. So a lot of uphill today, but there is something really exciting. Morning everyone. So I left around the Bend Hostel this morning. I absolutely loved my time there. Lisa and Gordon and all the staff are really just amazing. So if you're gonna hike the AT, definitely stop there. You would be missing out if you didn't. So today I got dropped off at Blue Ridge Gap, which is mile 75. I believe my goal for today is to get to um, Standing Indian Shelter, which is like maybe 10 and a half, 11 miles from where I started. I might try to get a little bit further depending on how I'm feeling later, um, but we'll see, I don't know. So in about two or three miles, I'm going to reach Bly Gap, and that means I'll be finishing my first state. So I'll no longer be in Georgia. I'll be crossing over into North Carolina, which is my home state. So I'm super excited to be there. Today's gonna be another one of those hot sunny days. So it's gonna be beautiful, but there's a lot of big climbs coming up today. I remember once you crossed into North Carolina, those climbs are no joke. Guys, I think I'm taking my final steps in North Carolina right now. I'm so excited. Woo! There it is. Woo! I'm in Georgia and now I'm in North Carolina. Fly up and there's the crazy tree. Love this tree. Also, sorry guys, the wind is really picked up. All right, I remember this next section of trail being really hard, so let's knock it out. I made it to the top and now I'm getting really hungry, so I'm probably gonna stop at Muskrat Creek Shelter, I believe it's called. Just made it to Muskrat Creek Shelter, or should I say, Sheeter. This is Muskrat Creek Shelter. It's pretty nice, honestly. Last year I camped right back here somewhere. And we have this nice picnic table over here. So, gonna sit down and eat my lunch over here. This looks delicious. Hopefully it's not been out of the fridge too long and I don't get food poisoning, but it'll be worth it. Had a super nice lunch at the Muskrat Creek Shelter. I packed out a sandwich from Ingalls that I got yesterday. And when I packed it out, I didn't even think about the fact that it was gonna be pretty warm today and that I wouldn't be eating it for a few hours at least. So um, yeah, fingers crossed for no food poisoning. It should be fine, but that would definitely suck. So I think now I have about five-ish miles to Standing Indian Shelter. And honestly, these miles look like they're gonna be so much easier than the previous six that I've done today. And of course, I got cold while I was eating, so I put my jacket on. And now that I'm moving and the sun is out, um, I'm hot. So probably have to shed a layer soon. So I had to buy a new power bank yesterday. Well, actually two power banks because when I left to go slack packing, I had plugged mine into the wall in the bunk room. And when I got back, it was gone. So power bank, charging cord, and um, the wall block that I use. So it was near somebody's stuff. So I'm guessing that maybe 
They just thought it was theirs and they grabbed it and took it with them. Wow, this is a really cute little campsite and hopefully y'all can see me over the wind, but nice flat area, really cute fire pit. And this tree just looks awesome. I wonder if that giant mountain is Standing Indian Mountain. Hmm, don't know. So my YouTube videos recently started posting um, and I just wanted to come on here and thank all of you guys for all the support you've given me. Not only this year on my through hike, but last year as well. So many of you could have just quit watching after I made the decision to get off trail. But I know that a lot of you are watching it again and I just really appreciate that. I'm also really thankful for all of your comments. I was looking through them last night and there's just so many nice comments. I'm gonna go through and try to respond to as many comments as I can, but it might be kind of hard for me to get to all of them, so I apologize if I don't respond to you, but I did read your comment and thank you. It really does mean a lot to me. Coming up on Deep Gap now. I believe that at some parts of the year you can actually get picked up at this road down here, but I think it's closed right now. Standing Indian shelter. We made it. Ruby time. This one looks nice to be honest. Just got my tent set up and now I'm grabbing some water. 